Okay, so we, um, we're putting in a movie theater. So one thing I wanted to do is actually show what the wires are there for. Um, I also had some help with this. Um, know a guy who used to work on the Geek Squad and he helped me out. So basically our objective here was to run cable um, to everything that we needed to upgraded to uh, the capabilities of all the equipment that we got. So we got a projector that puts out 4K, HDR. Um, we got uh, a receiver that can put out that kind of quality video. Uh, it can do 3D, it can do all that. So we just ran everything upgraded enough to be able to, um, to run all that equipment. So now we're gonna show you guys all of those wires. He's gonna explain where they are, why they are there, and what their function is. So here we go. Okay, so with your uh, movie theater, you're gonna have some sort of a sound device, whether that be a sound bar that works with a little woofer, or you're gonna have like a receiver that can run an actual surround sound system, which is what we got here. So you have to do uh, a wire to each speaker, unless you have wireless. I think wired's probably a little better um, if you have the ability to do that. So we have a wire to each uh, speaker that comes from the receiver. Okay, all that being said, I do have a receiver and it's a 7.2 or a 5.2.2 uh, receiver. So you're gonna have five surround sound speakers, you're gonna have two subwoofers, and you're gonna have two overhead speakers, which is like a, a Dolby Atmos. It's kind of a newer technology to kind of create a bubble of sound. So we're gonna go away from the 7.2 and do the 5.2.2. So we have all of the speaker wires for all of those speakers and where they're placed and all that. So back down here to the receiver. Obviously that's where, that's kind of like the, the mothership of everything. That, that runs everything. Everything passes through the receiver. So we're gonna have power for the receiver here. We're gonna have, uh, this is coax, because we actually have an antenna TV out here. We don't pay for cable or anything like that. Um, we got our HDMI cable, this HDMI cable it has to be able to run everything capable of putting out to your projector. So 4K Ultra HD, 3D, HDR, make sure you get a good enough HDMI cable. Uh, we also have two woofer cables coming in. We only have one subwoofer for now. If that's not enough, I've ran a, a second one just in case we need it. And then we got obviously our ethernet cable, which allows internet to our devices. So along with this right here, we're gonna have a DVD player, making sure that that's capable of putting out to what the projector's uh, specs are. Uh, this is all of our speaker wire. Um, How many speaker wires do you have there? So since we got a 5.2.2, you got your separate subwoofer cables, and then basically you're just gonna have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that makes so sense. So that's your surround sound plus your two overhead speakers. And I've learned as I've gone to this stuff, it doesn't stick with me. I've, I've done theaters before, so I've, I've had to research and have some help. So obviously, like I said, everything goes to the receiver. So from here, it goes out to the speakers. From here, it goes out to the projector. And over here to the projector, we have the HDMI cable. That pretty much runs everything. That's all you really need at your projector. But we also ran Cat5 uh, because you can do kind of like an AirPlay type of, uh, it's, it's a wired method, but it's, it's, it'll be kind of wireless if you can do it from your phone. But that actually tags into our ethernet switch over there. So that's basically it as far as running everything. Obviously we're gonna have power for the projector here. Um, so that's gonna be up in there. Um, we're gonna have it mounted up here against the ceiling. So if I stand back here, you can see all of these random wires coming out of the walls and that's where all the speakers are gonna be. So we've got some high speakers back here. There's gonna be one coming out of there as well, up there on the beam. We got one on each side of where the projector screen TV is gonna be, so you can see those wires. So that's what all of those are. James, did you want to explain anything else? Yeah, so we'll put a link in the description of all the equipment that we've used. Um, being as we do have antenna TV and a projector can't convert that from analog to digital, we had to buy a little device that, that does that conversion that'll be sitting down there with our receiver. Our DVD player, it's a, it's a Blu-ray Ultra HD uh, 4K player, but it's a um, also a streaming device. So we should be able to stream anything from that as well. Perfect. So, but uh, we'll put a link in the description if you have any questions on the equipment that we bought or what I've done here, let us know. Like I said, we're not professionals. This is research that we've done and uh, be nice to have somebody laid out real simply like this. And it's really not that hard. Yeah, because when we finished the basement in our old house, we did put a movie theater down there as well with a projector screen TV, similar to this, but it wasn't near as nice because this is our forever home. 
we did spend a pretty decent amount of money on all of this stuff because we want this for our kids and for ourselves, obviously. So because we've done this twice now, we learned the first time with things that you should and should not do. And it would have been really nice the first time we did this to have some type of reference like this to know what to buy and where to put things. So James kind of just figured it all out by trial and error and I hope this helps you. And I think that's it. Yeah, we have conduit also. Uh, if you can't get behind your walls, it's easier just to run conduit to future proof uh, your equipment. If something upgrades, you want to change something out, you should be able oh, to yeah. run a wire through there to be able to uh, change something out. HDMI cables are all the time upgrading, so we wanted to leave that availability here by putting, we got an inch and a half spare, and then we're using a two inch for the speaker wires and whatever else we can fit in there in the future. Smart, but if you look down here, so that you don't have to fish the wall in the future, just put these pipes in. What did you call it, conduit? Uh, it's just PVC pipe I'm using. Okay. Yeah, basically, it's conduit. Okay, PVC pipe. And then we have this one that has nothing in it. That way, if we want to run new wires, shoot, 20 years down the road, we can do that.